We are your home for the area's only weekday late morning newscast and the only nightly 10 p.m. local newscast. We are Fox 49 News, and we're here for you. Family Feud, weekdays at 4 on Fox 49. TMZ. We love Hollywood. We just have a funny way of showing you. Weekdays at 5.30 p.m. Next at 10, the comeback for America's space program on hold. Now for scrubbing today's planned launch from Cape Canaveral. We'll tell you what it means and what's next. Plus, preparing for the storm with hurricane season just days away, Florida officials want you to get prepared. Details on how you can do that and save some money. And two people are dead after a stabbing and an officer involved shooting in Tallahassee. Your Fox 49 News at 10 starts now. Tonight at 10, everybody, I'm Abby Walton. Today's officer involved shooting the second in just eight days. The stabbing happened just before 11 this morning on Saxton Street. Then shots were fired soon after by police trying to arrest the suspect on Holton Street just a few blocks away. Tallahassee police say they initially responded to the Saxton Street stabbing. TPD says that's when the suspect ran from the scene. According to police, responding officers saw a woman matching the description of the stabbing suspect. They say an officer approached the woman and uh, pointed a gun at him. That's when TPD says the officer fired his gun, killing the woman. We're told the officer involved in the shooting is now on administrative leave. The information from those investigations uh, will be turned over to State Attorney Jack Campbell. Um, and I have already spoken with him several times today. Um, he's aware of this situation, and like I say, that evidence will be turned over to him for the grand jury. Right now, police are not releasing the name of the officer involved, the suspect, or the victim of the stabbing. They are asking for witnesses with any information to come forward. Today's shooting stunning, upsetting, and angering many people in that neighborhood. At the scene, people gathering surrounding the area police had taped off. Our reporter on the scene observing people trying to comfort one another. We talked with several of them today, many telling us given the recent violence involving police around the nation, what happened today scares them. I'm not scared. No, I'm scared for my kids. Yeah, that's what I'm scared for my kids. But see, they don't think like me. Everybody don't think like me. Meanwhile, this is the third officer involved shooting in Tallahassee this year. Police investigating one just last week on North Monroe. An officer shot and killed Wibben Woodard last Tuesday after a confrontation outside the Super China Buffet. Police had initially been called to a fight at the gas station across the street. TPD says it's an ongoing investigation. They're still not releasing the name of the officer involved in that situation. And another deadly officer involved shooting March 20th on Blairstone Road. Here, police say they tried to pull over 31-year-old Michael Johnson in a stolen car. Johnson later crashed and ran off. Investigators say he violently resisted arrest, and that's when a TPD officer shot and killed him. That shooting is also still under investigation. A resident at the Tallahassee Developmental Center is now suing the facility after contracting COVID-19. Guardian advocates for Dylan Johnson claim TDC's owners and managers were negligent for failing to enact safety protocols sooner. Johnson spent 12 days in the hospital with the coronavirus. The suit also cites two previous incidents in which Johnson was injured. Now, we did reach out to TDC for comment. They tell us at this time they have not been served with any lawsuit. Since March, the population of juvenile detention centers in 30 states have dropped by 24 percent. As Jake Stofan tells us, Florida has also put a priority on lowering the number of youthful offenders sent to these facilities. Advocates say they're hoping these policies will carry on after the pandemic. In 